What is up guys, it's Will and welcome back to my channel. This is like the week of hatch or something. Does this hat make me look like I'm a frat boy? It kinda does. The white and everything. So like I've told you guys, I've lived in a lot of different places and a lot of different apartments, you know, with different roommates. And throughout that time, you make roommate stories, whether they're good or bad ones. And it was just my luck that I'd had not so great roommate experiences. I've had a lot of really weird, interesting roommates. So I thought I would take today's video to share some of those stories. And instead of just sitting down in front of the camera and talking about it, I actually thought acting them out would be a lot more funny so that you guys were able to actually see them and relive them. <laughs> my brother Noah and his friend Gavin hopped on board and wanted to help film the video. So they're gonna be the ones acting this video. My brother is one in the gray shirt and Gavin is the one in the flannel. They did an awesome job guys. So I'm gonna jump right in and kind of just like narrate the story a little bit. So I had this one roommate and for some reason he would just always stare at me. Like I'd wake up in the morning, turn over and he would just be staring at me. I would tell my friends about that he would just stare at me and like they wouldn't believe it until they came over and then just see him staring at me and they're like, dude, he actually does that. Like, what the heck? And I'm like, I know I didn't make it up. That's so weird. And they're like, yeah, he like stares into you like he knows something. And I'm like, mm. there was another time where I was just on my computer watching a movie. In the clip we filmed, Gavin's playing Xbox, but in real life I was watching a movie on my laptop and I literally just felt like someone was behind me and I turned around and he was just sitting behind me staring at me. And I'm like, dude, what the heck do you want? And he would never give me an answer. He would just continue to stare at me. Another time I went to go make pasta and so I was looking for my strainer and I know he would use it sometimes and I asked him if he saw it, he was like, no, I don't know where it is, but it's in the trash and it was rusty and I was like, what the heck, if you don't know where it is, then like, how do you know it's in the trash? And he never admitted that he was the one that threw it out. He just said it must have been someone else and I asked my other roommates and they were like, no, I didn't throw it out, it was definitely him. And he just still never admitted to it and it's like, what the heck, dude? <clears throat> See my strainer? Uh, no, it's in the trash. Why is it in the trash? It wasn't good anymore. What do you mean it wasn't good anymore? I don't know, it was rusty. So you threw it in the trash? Must have been someone else. This kid would always listen to screamo music, and I have nothing against screamo music, but this kid, he would always just be like jumping around when people were trying to study, or if you just came home and you wanted to chill, he would be jumping around the living room, jumping around our bedroom, screamoing, having a concert, make-believe concert, and you know, it doesn't matter what type of music it was, it was just a lot, and it was kind of irritating when it was always happening. There was one time where I was just hanging out and he was like, dude, go check our bedroom. I just rearranged it. I put up my posters up everywhere and moved your couch. And like, if you guys have ever shared a room with someone or went to college and had a roommate, like you never cross the other person's side of the room. Like you might be able to hang things up if they're okay with it, but you usually keep your stuff to your side of the room. And this kid just covered everything and literally condemned me to this small corner and didn't leave me any room to do anything. It was like super irritating. Oh, dude, uh, check out our room. I hung up all my ugly posters all over our walls and I moved your couch. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you do enjoy it. Thank you so much to Noah and Gavin for helping me film this. Hit that like button if you think they did a good job. I'm gonna leave their social media down in the description below because they're awesome. I'm trying to get them to make a YouTube channel because they're hilarious and I know they'd be really good at it. So if you're interested in following them, they both post really funny things, go ahead and follow them. Hit the like button if you did like this video and leave a comment down below if you want me to continue doing this video because I said I've had a bunch of different roommates and then like I said, a lot of stories and I was thinking of doing this as like a series where I can have Noah and Gavin act out these situations for me because they did a good job and they were really funny. So I really would like to continue doing that. Let me know if you guys would like to see those. If you're just coming across this video or my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I post videos every single day and you don't want to miss out for the next roommate series edition. Hit the little bell at the top so you know when my videos are posted. You'll get that little notification. It'll help you know when my videos are up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. I really do hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for today, guys. Until next time. Peace. Perfect. Perfect.